using the lever knot for about three weeks. And the great thing about the lever knot is I've had all ages use it. Introducing the revolutionary lever knot, a patent pending multi-purpose tie down device that uses a lever action with a simple locking mechanism to create a knot when the rope is under tension. This amazing invention can be used with volleyball net systems to quickly and easily adjust the tension of the net. Yes, I would recommend using the lever knot. It's, to me, it's just, I like a neat, professional looking net system. It seems like you can get the nets tighter than just doing the actual knot. Because if, if I did a regular knot over the course of practice, it's going to loosen up, loosen up, loosen up, and I might have to retile, you know, to keep the net tight. So, using the lever knot has helped. Most volleyball players prefer a tight net, both vertically and horizontally, which provides a consistent opportunity to play a ball when it hits the net. Most volleyball nets come with metal eyelets on each side that have a rope tied to them. These ropes are then pulled tight and tied around the support poles that hold up the net. In most cases, there are three or more sets of eyelets per net, which means six or more knots must be tied when setting up the net for play. These knots have to be tied while the rope is under tension in a manner that keeps the net tight and centered within the cork boundaries. When taking the net down, the knots have to be untied, which could be difficult depending on the type of knot or the amount of tension placed on the knot itself. That's where the lever knot comes into play. The lever knot eliminates the need to tie knots when setting up the net. It's easy to adjust and it keeps the net tight during gameplay. After the game, Lever knot releases easily to take down the net, and because lever knot is so compact and versatile, it can be used to keep the net bundled together during storage. The biggest things I've noticed is it looks a whole lot better, uh, it stays tighter longer, and uh, they're much easier to use when you put the pads on for competition. And another thing too is the um, I think it's really great that. You know, all ages can learn to use it. It's not like it takes a rocket scientist to figure out how to put it on. I mean, like 12-year-olds are able to figure them out, and all the, you know, every age that I've coached. It was very hard for them to have enough strength to pull the net, whereas with the lever knot, they just, you know, attach it on there, and then they can just pull it. And still, on the top one, sometimes they have trouble reaching it, but they don't have to have the same strength to pull and tie at the same time. The lever knot comes with approximately four feet of rope with a loop formed on one end. The first time the lever knots are used, tie the non-looped end of each rope to the eyelets on the side of the volleyball net. Then, wrap the looped end of the rope around the volleyball net upright. Insert the looped end of the rope into the elongated hole just under the groove at the top of the lever knot. Pull the loop through the hole just enough to place it around the end of the lever knot so that it rests in the groove. Pull the rope away from the hole to secure the loop within the groove. Pull the lever knot along the rope until the net is at desired tension and release allowing the lever knot to rotate towards the rope. Pinch the rope at the end of the lever knot together and slide the D-ring up within the slot until it locks in place. Once you've attached the lever knot to the volleyball net, there are no knots to tie or untie. It's easy to readjust if the net stretches during play, and it only takes a few seconds to remove. The ties usually come undone, and we had to keep doing them over and over. Tying the knot and the leather knot, you get it on once, and it stays.